This is the day the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be exceedingly glad in it. For the Lord is good, and he is worthy to be praised. God is good, and he's worthy to be praised. Um, you know, as we're waiting on others to join us this morning, um, as we study the Bible, and as you study the Bible in your own personal time, you'll notice that God never does anything uh, without first of all saying it until he says it, then he'll do it. And uh, I mean, that's the way he works. He'll speak it and, and then he'll do it. And uh, he's doing the same thing in the earth um, unless it is spoken, uh, prophesied or called forth by prayer then you know it, it's to, it's is if we understand god's way of doing what he does you speak it you confess it you call it forth by prayer and things begin to happen and i want to encourage you who have been a part of this very special time it's becoming more and more special and intimate to me every day that i do it but it is so very important that you understand that we are spending time speaking it we are spending time uh, prophesizing about it. You're spending time praying over it. And um, I just believe some, some mighty things will begin to happen. I believe some mighty things will begin to happen in your life as a result of all of this. And and uh, I just want you to see that today as, you know, you're, you're taking part in creating solutions. You're taking part in encouraging people. You're you're, you're playing a big, big role in, in the lives of people as we are speaking it in the earth and we're declaring it in the earth. And um, so I just want to really encourage you for that. I, I, I pray for you guys today. I pray blessings on your life today. I pray peace on your life today. I say good morning or good evening or, uh, you know, wherever you may be watching right now. And it's a blessing to have you here with us. Uh, Sonia, God bless you. Uh, we bless, we blessed, uh, Deborah today. We, we bless Cynthia today. Uh, we bless all the Cynthia's today. We bless Daryl. We declare the blessings of God are over your life today in Jesus mighty name. Good morning, Marcus. Good morning, uh, Path. And, uh, we're just, we're just so excited. Hannah, good morning to you today. And, um, we, we pray that God's blessings will be on your life all day today. God bless you. Amen and amen and amen. Praise God. Uh, now, one of the things that uh, I, I want to share with you today is I want to talk to you about something that will really, really inspire you and change your life today. And um, I, I pray that this will really bless your life. So let's let's begin today. Let's go ahead and establish our lives uh, in Psalms 91 today. Psalms 91. Let's establish our life in Psalms 91 today. Ready? Repeat after me. I declare that I will dwell in the shelter of the Most High God. I declare that I will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I declare that God is my refuge and my fortress. I declare that you are my God in whom I trust and with great confidence in whom I will rely. I declare that God will rescue me from every trap and protect me from every disease. I declare that I am covered and protected by his outstretched arms. I declare that God's faithful promises are my armor and my protection. I declare that I will not be afraid of the terrors of the night nor of the arrows that fly in the day. I declare that I will not dread any disease 
that stalks in the darkness, nor any disaster that strikes at midday. I declare that because God is my refuge and the almighty God of my home, no evil can befall me and no plague can come near my dwelling. I declare that God has ordered his angels to guard, defend, and protect me and my house. I declare that God's armies of heaven will keep me from falling. I will walk unharmed and kick anything that is evil from my path. I declare that because of God's love for me, I will call upon him and he will set me above my troubles and he will deliver me from all of my fears. Glory be to God. And he will honor me with his presence and his power. I declare that he will reward me with long life and he will show me his salvation. Praise God, praise God, amen. Now let's go ahead and make our declarations concerning this area of our lives. We're gonna declare over the area of wisdom, guidance, wisdom and guidance. Wisdom is knowing what to do when you don't know what to do. Be careful that you don't allow your lives to be led by carnal, fleshy things. In other words, if you make decisions based on money, and if you make decisions just solely based on the economy, and not make the decision based on God and make the decision based on the anointing, well, it's gonna be it's gonna be a little different thing there. Make your decisions based on the anointing. Make your decisions based on the word of God. Make your decisions based on the leadership of the Holy Spirit. Don't make your decision based on money. Don't make your decisions based on economics. Make your decision based on God. Make your decisions based on his word. Make your decisions based on his anointing. Make your decisions based on the call of God on your life. And when you make your decisions on, on God and his word and on the anointing, then the provisions will follow. Everything you need will follow. But do not become a part of a mammon-driven system. Now, mammon is a spirit. And the spirit of mammon wants to convince you not to trust God. A spirit of money, uh, uh, mammon wants to convince you to say, I don't need God because that spirit behind the money is Satan, and he wants you to trust money more than you trust God. He wants you to trust his way more than you trust God. Mammon is it's the spirit behind money. But you make a declaration every day, I trust God. I need God. You see, you can have a whole lot of money and, and not have God. Then what? because all good things come from God. So we make our decision based on the anointing, based on the word, based on the leadership of the Holy Spirit. And then all the provisions will follow that. But if you put mammon above um, the word and above God, and, and you'll find yourself driven by mammon, and then you won't listen to God, and then you look up one day and you're in a ditch trying to figure out how you got there. So we trust God. So let's make these confessions today uh, over the wisdom of God that we need to operate in today. Say this out loud. The spirit of truth abideth in me and teaches me all things. And he guides me into all truth. Therefore, I confess I have perfect knowledge of every situation and every circumstance that I come up against. For I have the wisdom of God. 
Say it again. I have the wisdom of God. Say it one more time. I have the wisdom of God. I trust in the Lord with all my heart. And I lean not into my own understanding. In all my ways, I acknowledge him and he directs my path. The Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. Did you see that? The Lord will, will perfect. Say it again. The Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. I let the word of Christ dwell in me richly in all wisdom. I do follow the good shepherd and I know his voice and the voice of a stranger I will not follow. Jesus has made unto me wisdom, righteousness, sanctification, and redemption. Therefore, I confess I have the wisdom of God and I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I am filled with the knowledge of the Lord's will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. Praise God. I'm a new creation in Christ. I am his workmanship created in Christ Jesus. Therefore, I have the mind of Christ and the wisdom of God is formed within me. I have put off the old man and have put on the new man, which is renewed in the knowledge after the image of him that created me. I have received the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. The eyes of my understanding being enlightened and I am not conformed to this world, but I'm transformed by the renewing of my mind. My mind is renewed by the word of God. Amen, amen, amen. God is enlightening your eyes today. You're going to see with clarity and you're going to know what you need to do. Now, I want to share this our scripture this morning. Uh, and I want to deal with stress. It's time for you to relax from the stresses of life. And that's what I want you to do today. Today, I want you to take a chill pill concerning the stresses of life, coronavirus news. I want you to take a chill pill. What they're doing in politics, I want you to take a chill pill. Now, I, I, I looked at this in 2 Thessalonians chapter 1 and verse 7. I'm going to read a part of this, and here's what it says. And to you who are troubled, rest with us. Man, that, that stood at me. To, to you who are troubled, rest with us. I want to lead you in this prayer, and then we'll make a confession over this. Are you ready? Pray this out loud with me. Lord, I admit that I've been carrying the worries, stresses, and pressures of life far too long. Before I do anything else, I want to cast these burdens over unto you right now. I am tempted to worry that the problems I'm facing won't work out, but taking them into my own hands and worrying about them isn't going to make the situation any better. So I repent. I change my mind for letting myself become consumed with worry about things I cannot change. I turn them all over to you right now. Please help me stay free of anxiety 
as I learn to relax and enjoy life a little more today than I've been enjoying it lately. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. And you've made a declaration. You have prayed this in the name of Jesus. And you know what I believe? I believe that what we bind on earth is bound in heaven. What we loose on earth is loose in heaven. I believe we just gave heaven a, a permit. You watch what happens to you day to day. Now let's make this confession over this scripture in, in 2 Thessalonians 1 and 7. Say out loud with me. I confess that I need to set aside time for relaxation and recreation starting today i'm going to take a break from my problems i am casting my burdens on the lord and as a result i know i will be refreshed recharged and given a renewed vision after a little rest i will see my challenge with new eyes and I'll face it with new strength. I know my survival depends on this. So today I choose to take a break from the constant stress I've been dealing with before I get worn down and become easy prey for the devil. God will give me the strength and the energy that I need to get up and get going so I can complete the work he has entrusted in my hands. I declare this by faith in Jesus' name. Amen. No worry. No worry. No worry. No stress. Just chill, chill off the news today. Talk to people about everything, about something else besides what's going on. Just take a break from stress. Relax from the stress of, 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 of your life. Just turn it all over. Put your favorite music on. Praise the Lord. Uh, call somebody that, that you hadn't talked to in a minute. and Y'all laugh on the phone and rejoice with one another. FaceTime somebody. Go outside and take a walk if it's okay outside. Play with your dog. Do something besides stress out today. And pray in the Holy Ghost all day. Practice the presence of God. Start thanking God for things that he's already done. Thanking God for things that you're believing for him to do. Just spend time appreciating God, thanking God, blessing somebody else. Fill yourself up with a good attitude today. And then go find somebody to pour all that good attitude on. Amen. Fill yourself up with encouragement today. And then go find somebody to pour all that encouragement on. Oh, I love you today. Oh, God bless you today. I bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I pray that you're recovering from grief and hurt and pain and confusion. I pray, man, I want you to have a good day today. God is good, and I want that goodness to be on your day today. Man, I love you. Thank you guys for taking time out for, uh, to, to join me today. Uh, remember, tomorrow we'll go into Bible study with Taffy at 10, and uh, she's going to bless us. And then tomorrow night, I'm going to be doing Bible study. And so I'll see you right here uh, for our next confession on Thursday and Friday. I love y'all. Have a blessed day. Be epic today. All is well. In Jesus' name, God bless you.